Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm out, yo. I'm in Dallas. I'm at Amazon. Picking up a load for Amazon. This is my first time really picking up a load for them. Um, But this video, I wanted to do something a little different than I normally do. You know what I'm saying? All my videos going to still be about information. And every video I do is going to be able to help somebody in some kind of way. But in this video, I want to show y'all an example of what a load board looks like. So I don't know at some point of the video, I'm going to have me searching a load board. You know, um, I did a little screen recording so y'all could actually see, you know, what the load board looks like what is paying how many miles you have to go um it have to wait on there and you're gonna see that you know i put my max at twenty thousand. so all the loads that you seeing all of those loads are under twenty thousand pounds and all of those loads are for if you have a single axle truck you could take every load that you see you know some loads are paying good and some loads are not you know but and this is just one load board this is uh coyote logistics this is a load board that i use um i use this load board a lot actually and um like i said i found some good loads on there and i found some bad loads on there but I just want to give you guys like an insight like I just want y'all to see that man there's opportunities out here you could make money out here and um you know one of the loads on here you know if you watch the video to the end you know I I showed a little interest in you know um I felt like it could be more and that's another thing you know just because you go on the low board and you know, you see a load and you like, dang, you know, I like this load, but it's not paying enough. Well, they have a bid option. You know, if it's not paying enough, ask for some more. And, you know, this is exactly what I did. You know, like I said, if you watch the video to the end, you'll see, you know, um, I forgot exactly how much it was, but you'll see that I bid it and I, I asked for more. Now, they did counter that offer, you know, and it wasn't what I wanted, you know, but it was more than what they previously put it out there for. And, you know, you know, this is trucking, man. And, you know, in trucking, you don't get what you deserve. You don't get what you're supposed to have. You get what you can negotiate. You know what I'm saying? And... So if you don't have that driving you to negotiate, you don't have that driving you to go back and forth with the brokers, then man, listen, being an owner operator ain't for you. You know, maybe you should just stick to being a company driver and there's nothing wrong with being a company driver. You know what I'm saying? It's just that these videos and the advice that I'm giving you, is not for company drivers. It's for owner operators, people who want to actually go out there and, you know, become their own boss, you know, go out there and, you know, make top dollar. You know, this is this is who, you know, I'm targeting, you know, this is who I make videos for, you know what I'm saying? But um, like I say, man, I just wanted to share something with y'all real quick not gonna hold y'all you know there's not gonna be a 20 minute video even though i like doing 20 minute videos so if you somebody that's you know coming to my page and you know look 20 minute videos that's my thing you know what i'm saying so <laughs> yeah it's just you know right now it's just you know like i say i'm here i'm at amazon i'm getting loaded and um uh, yeah, man, I just I just want everybody to win. And I don't want y'all to have to go through what I went through when I was just getting started. I didn't have nobody to call. You know, I just felt like, 
you know, I didn't have no videos. The videos that I was looking for that I needed, they wasn't on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I got my truck, I'm like, what am I going to do with this truck now? Because everywhere I was calling was telling me, you know, well, we can't take a single axle truck. You know, maybe you're going to have to find a job that's going to allow you to carry sand or find you a job that's going to allow you to carry water. But other than that, there's nothing else, you know, we could do with your truck. And, you know, luckily I found a company that'll let me run underneath their authority which allowed me to, you know, get on the load board and pick my own and pick my own loads. Because if I could pick my own loads, then I could find what I need to find. I just need to be put in a position. And sometimes that's all a person need. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a handout. I don't need a favor. I don't need nothing. I just need a chance. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I got. I got a chance. And once I got that chance, I made it happen. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm talking to y'all, so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could go out there and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing about getting your own authority. I ain't know about working underneath somebody else's authority. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm in a position to where, you know, I appreciated working under somebody's authority. But now I'm trying to get my own authority. Because paying 15, paying somebody 15% of every load that you get, say, man, that's a lot of money. And that money adds up over time. You know what I'm saying? The 15% that I'm paying for every load, man, that could be going toward my gas bill. You know what I'm saying? As, expense, as expensive fuel is, I could be putting that 15% toward that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everything is a process. You know what I'm saying? You go through it. You learn what you need to learn. You know what I'm saying? And the things you don't need to repeat, you don't repeat. You know, but again, this video, I just wanted to show y'all what a load board looks like. I wanted to show y'all that. And every load board is not like this. This is just, you know these are the ones that i like though because you got some low boards they don't even show you and from what i um heard uh amazon if you run for amazon on the amazon they have the app is called the amazon relay app from what i heard they don't even show the weight you know what i'm saying just tell you where you're going and they tell you how much but as far as the weight they don't give it to you so me personally being that I know my truck can't take anything. If I can't see the weight, there's no really reason for me to even, you know what I'm saying, mess with that. So, you know, I stick with apps like this. You know, uh, the DAT load board, you can see the weight. Truck stop, you can see the weight. Coyote Logistics, you can see the weight. TQL, you can see the weight. You know what I'm saying? These are apps that you could get, you know what I'm saying, when you first come in the door. You get these apps, you will be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It can make you comfortable because you know, like, okay, if I get this here, I know for sure I'm going to make some money. Now, um, and most of those apps are free. Um, Coyote is free. TQL is free. Truck Stop is not free. Uh, DAT is not free. But think about it. What's $30 a month when you could go on here and book a four, five, six hundred dollar load? I mean, you will pay for this in one load. You know what I'm saying? And you got to spend money to make money. You know what I'm saying? And that's another attitude that you got to have coming out here. You spending money to make money. To go get that $500 load might cost you $150 in gas. You spending money to make money. To find that load might cost you $45 a month. But what's $45 a month when I can make $5,000 a month? Spend money to make money. 
you know, like they say, scared money don't make no money. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's, again, you know, like I say, I make these videos, you know what I'm saying, for people that's trying to boss up. People that, you know what I'm saying, want their own truck, want their own business, want to make their own schedule, want to work when they want to work, and when they don't feel like working, they don't work. I make videos for y'all because I'm one of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm one of y'all, man. And again, I said I'm not going to make this video too long, but... <laughs> Yeah, I already know, like, once I start talking, I just, I just start running it, but, man, I really liked it, like, this is what I like to do, though, man, I love trucking, I love talking about trucking, like, I really take the good and the bad with trucking, man, like, <laughs> I don't know, man, but if y'all anything like me, you know, single, axle, day cab driver, you know what I'm saying? If y'all anything like me, man, y'all gonna rock out with these videos. And, man, like, comment, which y'all already doing that. But I'm gonna say it anyway, man. Like, comment, and share these videos. You know what I'm saying? And I really want y'all to, you know, I make these videos for trucking because I love trucking. But I also have another YouTube page. It's called Eric J. Street News. And everybody who rock with me on this channel, I really want y'all to go subscribe to that channel too. You know what I'm saying? I don't ask y'all for nothing. I give y'all all the game. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask for nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? All I ask for y'all to do is like, comment, and share. And I really want y'all to subscribe to my Eric J Street News page. I'm going to put like a picture or a link somewhere in the video, you know what I'm saying, so y'all could go check it out. And, you know, once you subscribe to it, uh, once you subscribe to it, you know what I'm saying, just come back to this video and just comment and let me know you did it, man. And I really appreciate it. And in return, man, I'm going to keep giving y'all these videos, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to keep letting y'all know everything that I know, you know what I'm saying? Peace out.